Hi, hi Simon, hi. What did you use as your inspiration for writing the sequel? Uh, the inspiration was the books, really. <laughs> None other. We, we, um, um, we, thinking of storylines, we went back to the books and we, to, 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 A, to anchor us in the character and B, for ideas for stories. So we, there's a story in the book about Mr. Gruber takes Pannington to an antiques, um, to an auction, and he, bid, he ends up bidding for, for something. Uh, I think it's a tool box, actually. But this, this uh, uh, toolbox is wanted by a, by a criminal, you know. So we thought that would be a really nice sort of story um, to kick us off for Pannington 2. Was there one particular message that you wanted to be more prominent? Yeah, I think, um, um, you know, Pennington's values are very important and his values are taught to him by Aunt Lucy and she taught him to look for the good in people and if you did that then you, you usually find some good which I think is, we, we, we felt was a nice sort of message and, and to not judge people by, um, by the cover, you know, John, judge a book by its cover, that's in it as well, you know, Pennington meets a celebrity in the film and a criminal and they're both, when you dig deeper, they're both very different. Uh, than their exterior suggests. So, so we hope that uh, comes across. Yeah. And what does Paddington mean to you as a character, personally? To me, um, he makes me laugh uh, more than anything. And when I was a kid, when, when I read the stories and watched the wonderful TV program, he made me laugh first and foremost. And um, I love the way he always made mistakes and made me feel a bit less um, clumsy about my own mistakes that I made. So yeah, that's what he means to me. It's, it's quite difficult when you you don't have your lead character until quite late on in the, in the process. But everyone, thankfully with the first film, we know what Huntington looks like and how he moves and how, how brilliantly he's, he's uh, realised. So so um, everyone can doesn't have to use their imagination quite so much when we're... When, when the actors are acting with him as well, they know what he, he's like, so it's, it's good. Yes, we, we had that idea quite early on that um, He's an immigrant, really, but who's found his home in London. But part of his heart is in Peru, which is his Aunt Lucy, and we feel that's every sort of parent and child. You know, there's really that that bond, and we wanted to um, really sort of do a, a movie that sort of had, you know, had, had that in mind and had that emotional connection.